so they can shine bright as me. Yo, yeah! It's Halloween night, so come and listen to me. Hey, give me some candy. I don't work for free. <laughs> So hey what is happening everybody this is Jimmy Bones back at it again with another video and today what I have for you all is going to be something quite different compared to what I usually buy and what I usually get. This is going to be my very first modern I guess you could say Target life size animatronic and that is the 2024 Rocker Billy. Now this guy was made and produced by Panation Creations which I don't know why I didn't make that assumption when I first pulled him out of the box because Pan Asian Creations has their way, own way of doing things and creating things. And not to mention they are the only company that ha makes you build the base instead of the base just already being pre-built. Now for Pan Asian Creations animatronic, this is really good. And I would have to say that here lately Pan Asian Creations has been really producing some phenomenal pieces of work. Um, way better compared to what they used to do with their puppet style like animatronics that had bobbleheads and stuff like that. This is so much better and it is actually genuinely one of the coolest animatronics I think Target has produced in a very long time. Not to mention it falls underneath that genre of the musical and singing animatronic uh, genre and Pan Asian Creations has always kind of stuck with that and Jimmy has definitely and I will give Jimmy that. These two companies have always tried to expand on that genre. And it's a genre that I've talked about many a times that I thought was just such a nice, um, interesting concept. And it really does bring a lot out in an animatronic and into a character that you're trying to produce. And it really does form, you know, paint a really good picture there for many people to enjoy and love. This guy is no exception to that. I absolutely love the overall appearance of this and when I first saw him when Target dropped their stuff I just knew I had to have this. There's nothing cooler in my opinion than a pumpkin headed reaper kind of skeleton creature playing a guitar and jamming out. And while it's not scary, it is actually, it's just cool. It's a cool and awesome overall concept. This is probably the most kid friendly prop I do have 
but I think that it, you know, it, there are certain aspects of certain animatronics, especially in this genre, you know, th this kind of genre of animatronic does not need to be scary. It is genuinely just a cool concept and I think it would really just capture the eyes of so many kids, families, moms, dads around. Um, I would also like to mention that this dude is also outdoor rated, so that's interesting. I've noticed Pan Asian Creations has been putting a lot of emphasis on the I the concept of outdoor use of animatronics, such as the uh, Swamp Monster, I believe it was from last year. Uh, that that thing was outdoor rated. This thing is outdoor rated. Their jazz um, saxophone playing skeletons are also outdoor rated. A lot of their stuff is becoming outdoor rated, and I really give them props for it. I really think that they are doing a really good job with this, um, and it's definitely the, one of the biggest steps up. Not to mention, I do believe this guy is also servo motor. I could be wrong about that, but based on how the head moves and how it turns and shifts and the shapes, I think it is servo. So not only that, but Pan Asian Creations is now kind of experimenting with servo. And if it's not a servo motor, then it's something very similar because the head does do its swaying motion side to side in a kind of like a 360 rotation almost. So hey, I can't complain. Overall, the build on this was really good. Pan Asian Creations usually has the midsection already built for you. So you don't really have to do much with the the middle section. Usually with a lot of their animatronics, you just have to build their base, put the legs together. The top part's really easy. You just put it on and go ahead and assemble everything that needs to be assembled in the mid area. And then just usually put the head on. There was It was all basic. It was all simple. The cords all slid in easily. There was not a bunch of cords that I had to go through. There was like, I think, three basic cords you just had to connect. Everything slid in very well together. There was no hassle there was no um there was no uh fighting with the with the poles like svi's max sometimes i have to um it was all easily put together and there was not a moment that i i had where i was struggling or got frustrated with the build this is overall not only a good build it's a cool concept and it's also very kid friendly and just downright awesome i don't have any complaints about this guy whatsoever and if you don't like this kind of stuff, then that's fine. But I would definitely recommend try to get a hold of this guy if you can, because I don't think this guy will probably come back next year. I will be shocked, but I am absolutely obsessed with the overall appearance of him. But anyways, you all, I thought I would go ahead and give you all a close up of him, and I will be right back to show you Rocker Billy up close in person. All right, so coming up to Rocker Billy here, you can see that you right off the bat. He has the really nice little red star around one eye. It's kind of like a neon punk rock kind of thing theme, and I love it. Not to mention the bright green eyes. So when the light inside the, uh, the head shines, you can see it very well. He has a nice little adorable smile. And while that, there's not too much detail up here, that's not what this concept is about, in my opinion. I think he looks good just the way he is. It's basic, it's simple, but yet it works really well, and it blends all well together. He has the hood, which is also, I do believe, um, customizable. There is a wire in there that you can bend to make it, um, to, to shape it. And not to mention, it has a point at the top here. And it also is made out of a nice thick material. So it's not going to blow away. It's not going to de-shape or anything like that. It'll stay in shape and it'll look, it'll stay probably in really well good tact for your display. Not to mention, you come down here, you can see the little divots in the body, and also this outfit here. It's kind of more thin, the outfit is, um, but overall, it does look really good. This right here is made of a nice thick material, the shoulder pads, and it's also kind of more bat style looking which I love. It's also adjustable, so if you do not like the way they look, you can kind of spike it up a little bit, make it look a little more sinister, if that's what you enjoy. Going down here, you can see more divots in the arms. There are ropes right here. These arms are not broken. It kind of follows the same concept of a plastic skeleton, so that way they can bend a little better. You can see going down here, his hand does, is attached to the guitar right here, which is connected to a pole that is also uh, it also has a wire in the back here, so that way you can see it, and also I do believe this is for its functionality. 
Uh, over here you can see there is a bat at the end of the guitar which just looks so good. It's not too detailed but also not too not detailed and I love the fact that they added that at the end. The guitar looks really good. It's all just it's all just stickers on the, on the uh, guitar. There's nothing uh, popping up, nothing 3D printed or nothing. Um, it's all just stickers that they implemented on there, but it looks good from a distance. Going down here to the pants, you can see that it is also a thin material, but it, the pants are uh, purple and black striped, and those look really good. The feet are also plastic, but they are skeleton feet, and they are orange to match the skeleton body. Overall, this guy looks really good. He is 5.5 feet tall. I absolutely love the way he looks. I think he looks really, really good. And overall, the concept, I think Target really nailed all this year. And whatever they wanted, they got. Because this is definitely something I think that is worth the 150 If you really do enjoy musical animatronics or you're not trying to be scary, this is definitely something for you. Not to mention, like I said, he's outdoor rated. So you can keep him outside and he probably won't get too damaged or damaged hardly at all. I'll give you all a quick side look here. You can see he actually has a really nice shape to him. And he also has a really big, long base for the pose that he is trying to show his audience. It looks really good, and I cannot complain whatsoever. But anyways, I really hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. I always try to upload weekly, never trying to disappoint you all. But anyways, I'm going to go and get out of here. This is Jimmy Bones, signing off. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.